You know, I grew up in country like this. My dad and I would ride our horses up to these amazing high mountain lakes. We'd ride back into some pretty remote wilderness areas with incredible streams and meadows and, and wildlife. I love it here. Look at this canyon. It reminds me of the Grand Canyon. You've got this little stream. You've got these steep canyon walls. How long do you suppose it would take for a stream this small to remove this much material and cut the canyon this deep? This rock has a history, just like I do and just like you do. It came from somewhere. A lot of these rocks have been dated to be 350,000 years old, up to two million. That's pretty old. But it might surprise you to know that all of the geological formations that we see here, the canyons, the layers, even the plants, are younger than I am. When I was born, there was nothing here but a vast forest, hundreds of feet below where we're standing right now. In fact, before 1980, most people had never even heard of Mount St. Helens. It was in that year, on May the 18th, that molten rock created a steam blast with a force of 20 million tons of TNT. Avalanche debris and other flows from the eruption laid down all of those layers rapidly, up to 600 feet thick. A couple years later, uh, there was some more volcanic activity that created a mud flow that cut out this entire canyon. It also cut through deep bedrock all in a couple days. Isn't it amazing what a little bit of information from the past can do to help change your view of the present and the present world around you? There are a lot of assumptions made by a lot of people about the history of the Earth around us. The question is, how do those assumptions affect how we view that history? But more importantly, how do they play into how we view science and the Bible? Did God create the world in a few days or billions of years? Is mankind descended from apes or did God create us instantly in his image? Was there a global flood that destroyed the earth or is that a myth? In other words, is Genesis history?